Hello friend, welcome to the next part of the multi-threading and today we are going to see the order of execution of the thread and you should have to remember that there is no guarantee on the order of the execution and then we will see the use of join method and in the previous section we have seen that we can create a multiple thread giving the same runnable so we will look at the same example which we will see in the previous section so we just have to see this example and understand the order of their execution so in this code you will see we are create a single runnable instance and three three thread instance get the same runnable instance and each thread is giving a unique name t1 t2 and t3 and finally all three thread are started by invoking start method on this three object so when i run this program when i will run the program what you analyze that here run this program multiple time and you won't see the same output every time let me rephrase that you may or may not get the same output every time you run the program so here you will see currently it's running the t0 t3 first then t1 then t2 if i will run again this time you will see t1 is running first then t2 then t3 then t1 t2 t3 and here then t2 and t3 then t3 right so one thumb rule about the thread in java is that the order of their execution is not guaranteed here are some of the few point that are to be noted and you should have to remember that so each thread will start and complete once a thread has been started it can never be started again if we will try to do that we will get illegal thread state exception then we started t1 first followed by t2 and t3 will ever run first we started t1 first followed by t2 then t3 there is no guarantee that t1 will run first it is all up to the jvm thread scheduler and it vary from jvm to jvm right once a thread is started there is no guarantee that it will keep executing till it completed we will never know when it interleaves the cpu core again this depend on the scheduler we all know about this pretty well right we all learn it in our academic subject like operating system within each thread the execution happen in a predictable order but the event of different thread can mix in unpredictable way that is why if we run the program multiple time or on a multiple machine we may see different output there is no clear pattern in the order of their execution when a thread complete it run method the thread die and the stack from the thread is removed from jvm memory so fourth point you should have to remember and you should have to understood right to understand this better let's so uh, focus on the output of t1 the execution order is predictable but the way t1 t2 and t3 are getting preempted is not predictable 
here in this output there seem to be pattern of how they are getting executed but it will not always be a case if you run it again and you may not see the same output here right you may not see the same output here is the output you can see t3 is running first now t1 then then t2 then t1 then t3 then t2 right so uh, what we got from here we see that thread execution order is not guaranteed so all the story boiled down to a single statement that the behavior is not guaranteed but there is a way to tell a thread not to run until some other thread has finished that time the join method comes here so the join method is a non static method in the class thread it let the current thread join on to the end of the other thread so here let me show you the example of the join method so here you will see the this code take the current thread and join it to the end of the thread right t1 dot join which i commented here so in the join section there are like uh, we can say uh, if i will call the t1 dot join here this mean if we assume that this code is running in the main thread inside the main method then the main thread will be blocked and won't become runnable until the thread t1 finish the run method there is another flavor of the join where let me comment this and the another flavor is that take the millisecond in the parameter so if i will pass that to 1000 here right this say the current thread which is a main thread wait until t1 is completed but if it take longer than the 2000 millisecond then stop waiting and then become runnable now what is the exact state of the main thread while t1 is running that question is you can ask me so well it is depend on the flavor of the join method right it's depend on the which type of join method you are using so if we want to achieve is thread t1 should print 0 to 9 and then main uh, thread should print 0 to 5 but only after the t1 is completes right so if i will run this program and you will see the output so you will see the output the t1 is running first and it will after the completion of t1 thread then the main thread is started from 0 to 4 right no matter how many time i will run this program every time you will see the same output right because we made it so right now it's time to the summary so a thread can only be started once starting a thread that is already started and completed result in illegal thread state exception we cannot guarantee the order of how thread are interleaved it all depend on the thread scheduler once a thread is started there is no guarantee that it will keep executing till it completed within each thread the execution happen in a predictable order but the event of different thread can mix in unpredictable way when a thread complete its run method the com thread die and the stack for the thread is removed from jvm memory using the join method we can tell the current thread not to run until some other thread has finished or we can also tell to wait for the specific amount of time using the other flavor of the method join method where we will pass the millisecond as a
parameter of the join method when we use plain join method the current thread state change to waiting and using the join method with the millisecond as a parameter then the change the current thread state to time waiting understand what the mean of that like if i will search for the enum state so if i will choose only the join method thread dot join then it will come from the runnable to the waiting state and when we are going to use join with the parameter of the millisecond then it will go inside the timed waiting understand so thank you